Today we're checking out the latest from DJI, the Osmo Action 4. And there are some impressive but familiar features here, but also some things that I kind of thought would have been ironed out by the fourth generation of this camera. So let's dive in and check it out. Just looking at the spec sheet, there really aren't any big new features here with the Action 4 over the previous generation. All the main features like shooting at 4K 120 FPS, front and back touchscreens, and a quick release mount and cage for easy vertical mounting are all features found on the Action 3. That being said, there are still a lot of great features about this camera. 4K at 120 FPS is a great inclusion for making slow motion clips. The microphone works great for capturing audio and knocking out wind noise when I was riding my motorcycle at around 50 miles per hour. Just like in earlier generations, the Action 4 has DJI's Horizon Steady mode that keeps the camera level when it starts to tilt left and right. This is a great visual when riding a motorcycle, and it's also waterproof up to 18 meters. Taking a look at pricing, the Osmo Action 4 standard combo comes in at $400. The Adventure combo, which includes three batteries and a charging case, and a selfie stick comes in at $500. The mini extension rod, the selfie stick itself is $49 if you want to pick that up. And the new GPS Bluetooth remote controller, which we'll talk about in just a minute, is coming in at $80. Lastly, you can get a 3.5 millimeter audio adapter for $45. Mounting Action 4 is much the same as Action 3. A magnetic mounting system on the bottom of the camera puts it in landscape orientation, but the protective cage makes it easy to orient the camera vertically for sharing videos on social media platforms. It's a very easy to use system that also makes removing the camera from a mount simple because of the magnetic clips rather than needing to unscrew a thumb screw every single time. I did find that to get a secure connection, I needed to wiggle the mount a little bit to ensure that it had a tight fit. There is a correct orientation with the magnetic mount. Once it was all set, the mount felt rock solid, but like I said, I did find myself adjusting it to make sure that it was fully secure. Action 4 can also be mounted to many other GoPro style accessories. On my motorcycle, I used a GoPro chest strap, for example. Talking about image quality, Action 4 is using a slightly bigger sensor than the previous generation with the same f2.8 aperture that can shoot up to that wide 155 degrees when the stabilization is turned off. All the different levels of stabilization will put a little bit of crop on that image. In my testing though, the footage looked great when shooting during the day. In most clips, leaves and the trees kept plenty of detail, which is typically my go-to test for action cameras. Images can usually start to get a little bit crunchy with fine details in the leaves when looking at footage from action cameras, but while there was some sharpness present, I really enjoyed the look of the footage coming from the Action 4. Additionally, colors looked accurate. Once again, during daytime shooting, the trees, water, and skin tones that I captured in my footage all looked great to my eye. At night, the camera did struggle with noise while I was riding around town on a motorcycle. I've definitely seen worse night footage from action cameras in the past, but the noise was still plenty noticeable. And this was one thing that DJI called out in their press release, stating that it has remarkable low light performance. And yeah, while it does okay, I wouldn't necessarily call it remarkable uh, for me. One highlight of this camera is DJI's rock steady and horizon steady stabilization modes. The footage looked silky smooth when riding my motorcycle and when paddling in a kayak. Definitely a great plus of these cameras. I also noted that in the press release, DJI called out an upgraded Invisi Stick mode or filter or effect, which will use cloud based computing to remove a selfie stick from applicable footage through the DJI Mimo app. And it worked pretty well, although it's not on par with the same effect from a 360 camera like the Insta360 X3. Another note here is that the max resolution that can be exported with this Invisi Stick effect is 1080p, and that's totally usable for social media posting, and that's most likely what is intended uses, but those who want a higher resolution might be a bit disappointed with those numbers. One interesting new accessory is the GPS Bluetooth remote control. Beyond double checking settings and starting and stopping the camera, this $80 wrist wearable add-on logs GPS data that can then be added to a dashboard overlay from the DJI Mimo app. It provides interesting metrics like speed, route, and direction, and can be a fun way to recall an adventure captured on the camera. For motorcycle rides, for skiing, for mountain biking rides, for runs, I can see this would be kind of fun to track your whole trip. But as far as I'm aware, those can only be added and exported from the DJI Mimo app. Riding a motorcycle is typically my go-to test to see how an action camera puts up with high wind speeds. And all in all, I think Action 4 handled the speeds up to about 50 miles per hour very well. I do think it's leaning heavily on software-based noise reduction, but I don't mind that at all. The sound that was coming from the camera at those speeds is totally usable. 
As for battery life, DJI claims up to two and a half hours of battery life under perfect conditions at 1080p. I tested it recording 4K 120 FPS and the camera shut off after about 70 minutes of filming. Now in the past, DJI has taken some flack for its action cameras overheating and unfortunately, I did run into that issue with the Action 4 as well. I first encountered it when kayaking on a sunny day recording at 4K 60fps, though the ambient temperature was only about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. I then checked and there was an update so I got it running with the latest firmware. And going out on the water again after the update rendered no heat issues, but then just as another test, I set the camera up to record sitting on a tripod in the sun in my yard. And once again, after about 15 minutes of recording this time at 4K 60 FPS, the same warning did come up saying that the camera had overheated and it could not continue recording. So activities that involve movement and wind on the camera most likely won't have any of these heat issues. The camera was still and there wasn't much wind in my yard. I never ran into any issues when on my motorcycle, but this is definitely something to consider if you record with the camera sitting still in the sun in a warmer environment though. One other little nitpicky bit on this camera is that it took only maybe three battery swaps for me to break the little tiny tab that holds the battery door on the camera. I'm not sure exactly what I did to snap it off when trying to reinstall it, but it means that the door won't stay attached under its own power. Luckily, the protective cage holds it in place so the battery and SD card aren't exposed. All in all, the DJI Action 4 is a solid action camera that ticks all the right boxes when it comes to capturing adventures, but I can't help but think that there should be more with this new generation. The GPS remote is a neat new accessory, but it isn't necessary. The spec sheet is nearly identical to the Action 3, and that overheating issue should definitely be taken care of by now. So it's probably not worth an upgrade from the Action 3 if you already have one, but if you're sold on the DJI ecosystem, if you like those stabilization features, the dual touchscreens are a great feature in this camera, and as long as you're not scared of it overheating, the Action 4 is a solid action camera in most situations. And that's going to do it for this review. If you're looking for some other videos to watch, check out our review of the Insta360 GO 3, their latest action camera, as well as our most recent video. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it easier and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.